My name is Joe Bertino. Um, I'm here at the AACA Museum today to make a donation of a 1938 Mack City Service Hook and Ladder Truck. A uh, little history of the truck. The truck was originally delivered to South Plainfield Fire Department in New Jersey. It served its full service from 1938, uh, approximately until 1970. At that point, it was sold to a private individual uh, who unfortunately took the truck and let it sit in the woods for 16 years and rot away. Uh, at that point, I purchased the truck and realized that it was not only a hook and ladder, but what made this very unique, it was built with a pump and tank on it, uh, which makes it extremely rare at that point. Uh, I decided the truck needed to be saved. I uh, went through a six year full frame up restoration completed in 1991. Uh, with the help of Mac, they were able to supply the build records, the information sheet, the equipment delivery list of how this truck left the factory. And today that's how the truck is restored, equipped exactly the way South Plainfield took delivery in 1938. There were a few unique pieces and things with this truck that until recently I did not realize why it was there. The truck is very heavily equipped but as hook and ladder trucks were at that time period, they were. They were the equipment trucks, the rescue companies, and the forcible entry companies. But what was strange with the truck, the truck carried CO2 extinguishers on it and foam in 1938, which I thought was added at a later period until I got the delivery records from Mac and found it was delivered that way. Uh, up until about a year ago, a uh, fellow and I were talking, he said, I know why it was on there. He was from that area. This truck protected a secure, a secure nondescript military airfield in the 30s and 40s. That's why it had foam and CO2 on it. Um, kind of a unique thing. It's as a hook and ladder. It carried everything but the kitchen sink, and I'm not too sure that wasn't on it somewhere. Uh, if there was a piece of firefighting equipment, it was probably on this truck at that time. Uh, I enjoyed the truck. Uh, after the restoration, it went to many shows, Connecticut, New York, Pennsylvania, Jersey. Um, but I felt it was time to come out of the garage and be at a place where everybody could see it. And that's why we decided to see if the AACA Museum could take it, and they gladly took it. So she's at her new home now.